One of its own, Rock Hudson, suffers from AIDS. The news was shocking. But this weekend, there's better news to report. That the entertainment community is once again mobilizing for a worthy cause in a campaign called Commitment to Life. This year, Hollywood's proving that it does have a heart and that it's in the right place. First, there was USA for Africa, then Live Aid. Now, Hollywood's rallying to combat the disease, AIDS. Well, it's human beings' lives. And if you care about anything, if you care about yourself, you have to care what happens to others. Next Thursday, Elizabeth Taylor hosts Commitment to Life, a $500 a plate gala celebrity fundraiser for AIDS research. I think it will make a lot of difference in public awareness and to involve people. Because it is, uh, it's not a localized problem, it's a world problem. As widely publicized as the whole event has been, one of the few secrets about the evening is the Andy Warhol design on the program cover, which no one will see until that night. The entertainment is certainly no secret, highlighted by Project supporters Sammy Davis Jr., Shirley MacLaine, Carol Burnett, and Cindy Lauper. It should be one of the greatest shows that this town has ever done. Come and see Rod Stewart sing with Cindy Lauper. That's going to be the big one that night. It was only one year ago that a similar AIDS benefit drew only one big celebrity backer, Joan Rivers. But things have taken a dramatic turnaround, especially since Rock Hudson's disclosure of his disease. The volume of phone inquiries alone has tripled at the AIDS Project Los Angeles offices. When you look at people that can be influential at both raising money and getting attention, the celebrity industry is the, the key focus. Beyond the commitment to life benefit, AIDS support continues in Hollywood with the soon-to-be-released single, That's What Friends Are For, sung by Stevie Wonder, Elton John, Dionne Warwick, and Gladys Knight. Rock Hudson just announced that the profits from his upcoming biography will go to AIDS research. And finally, in a bold move, NBC will dramatize the AIDS issue right in our own living rooms with the November TV movie, An Early Frost. We're hoping that we can calm people's irrational fears, look beyond them, and deal with our fellow man, because we're all part of this. And when someone gets AIDS, in a sense, uh, we are all affected by it, and we all have to band together. There has been such a big response to commitment to life that they had to move the evening into a larger ballroom. Mm -hmm.